My name is Ross Richardson. I'm an additive manufacturing technician with the Technology House in Streetsboro, Ohio. We offer many processes like 5-axis machining, cast urethane, injection molding, and the one that I specialize in is additive manufacturing. For my education, I graduated from the Fashion Institute of Technology with a BFA in Computer Animation and Interactive Media. In college, I studied different programs like Soft Image, Maya, and Blender. Although using different programs can be hard, but I compare it to driving a car. Different cars have different switches and buttons, but they all get you to the same destination. In college, I had a student job at the print lab. They would print photos for students, but what really interested me was they had a MakerBot. So I quickly designed a 3D printed keychain with my initials. It's very symmetric in design, so I wanted to add a bottle opening feature. Unfortunately, thin plastic won't open a bottle. So my print failed on the very first use. But that's what I like about 3D design. You could design it, print it, try it out, and if something goes wrong, you can redesign it. So I took what I learned from college and I applied it to the job that I have now. I started as a finisher, cleaning and sanding the parts, but because of my 3D animation background, I quickly learned the programs used to setting up parts. There are four major additive manufacturing processes that I work with. The first one is FDM, which stands for Fused Deposition Modeling, and that's your mainstream 3D printing that you can do at your home. The second one is SLA, which stands for Stereolithography, and that involves a UV laser drawing an image on top of liquid resin, and the platform moves down. The third one is DLS, which stands for Digital Light Synthesis, and that involves a UV image being projected all at once from the bottom, and the platform moves up. Our newest addition is MJF, and that involves a print head spraying fusing agent over a bucket of powder and a UV light cures it. This process is nice because unlike the other ones, it doesn't involve supports. So my advice to anyone watching is don't be afraid of failure. My first 3D print failed, but that didn't stop me. There are a lot of aspects of 3D printing like orientation, supporting, and post-processing. I didn't learn those overnight, but the very first successful print is so satisfying. So I'd like to leave you with a quote from Thomas Edison. I didn't fail, I just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. So please, go out there and find something that would make you happy to fail 10,000 times.